85-year-old woman, is brought to the hospital from a nursing home with three-day history of vomiting and diarrhea. She has been unable to keep any fluids down. Her blood pressure uh, is 90, 60 mercury, no hypertension, and heart rate is 110, tachycardia. Laboratory tests are notable for a blood urea and nitrogen, BUN, huh? uh, of 80 milligram deciliter and a serum creatinine of 2.0 milligram deciliter. Her baseline creatinine is 1.0 milligram deciliter. Which of the following findings would mostly support a dilemma prerenal azotemia in this patient? Uh, fractional ex excretion of sodium, FENA, huh, of 3%. A blood urea nitrogen to creatinine ratio 15 to 1, no. A urea and sodium concentration of 50, no. A fractional excretion of sodium, FENA, of less than 1%. This is the correct answer. So, the a fractional excretion of sodium, FENA, huh, abbreviation, FEN, of less than 1%. The question asks the students to identify the key diagnostic marker that differentiates prerenal azotemia from intrinsic renophilia. These patients' history, vomiting, diarrhea, poor fluid intake, and physical exam, hypertension, tachycardia, strongly point to dehydration and decreased renal perfusion, which is the setup for prerenal azotemia. So a fractional exact excretion of sodium, FINA, less than 1%. This is the correct answer. Prerenal azotemia is a state of a kidney dysfunction caused by poor flu, blood flow to the kidneys. The kidneys themselves are healthy. They are just not getting enough blood. It is in response to the low perfusion. The healthy tubules do exactly what they are supposed to do. So they go into so-called conservation mode. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system is activated and the tubules work over time to aggressively reabsorb sodium and water to try and restore blood volume. So these results are in a very low amount of sodium being extracted of the urine and thinner of less than 1% is the classic hallmark of this appropriate tubular response and confirms a pre renal state. Pre -renal state. High yield takeaway, the key to differentiating pre-renal azotemia from intrinsic ATM lies in assessing tubular function. In a pre-renal state, the healthy uh, tubules work hard to save sodium and water, leading to low FENA and high blood urea nitrogen creatinine ratio.